can see now guys see the difference in the color from the beginning the beginning was a lot a lot grayer i mean that's got other oil mixed into it that was in here but it was dirty so spilled some on the ground here real nice huh gotta clean that up next but anyway that's like the level you want to be at and then after put your plugs back on then i like to wipe up my pump too if there's any dirt on it any oil whatever clean it all up and that's it very simple procedure, very easy maintenance to do on your tools. All right, so after that, plug's all in. All I'm gonna do, I've got a little bit of oil left in here, so I'm gonna use up what's in here. And then you'll see, after when it starts filling up, you have a line here. Your minimum and maximum. I usually like to try to get it right in the middle or three quarters because if you get it too much, it can have too much and it can stop blowing out and there'll be a lot with the exhaust and stuff because when it runs, the oil heats up and it kind of, I don't know if, I don't think it expands, but it, the, it, the level rises up the hotter it gets. So pretty much it, guys. Going to do this, get the rest of this in here, fill her up, and that'll do it. it down here i put it on the bumper because it's easier it's leaning at a little angle toward the front so helps get all the oil out that's all we're gonna do and fill it back up guys it's really like a five minute procedure five ten minutes that's all it is a lot of guys like to do this they say to do it after every vacuum or after every big vacuum but we all know in real life that doesn't happen i usually do it once my oil starts looking dirty or cloudy or maybe you can see some sort of bubbles in it from the air or something but as long as it's clean, you're going to be able to pull a good vacuum. So all I'm going to do is, just, this is our drain plug here. We're just going to take this out, and all the oil is going to come out. I just used an old old jug of old coil cleaner jug, a washer fluid, whatever you got in your truck. So I put my used oil in, then I bring a used oil to our shop. We have a drum to get rid of it. And just take the top off here. This is also going to be where we fill it. It's your exhaust port. That's going to be where we fill it. But you basically just open this up. Let us start draining out, guys. It's as easy as that. What's up, guys? I figured I'd do a quick video here. Um, that big system, uh, you guys, if you watched the video from last week, we had that in a vacuum all week, all weekend, I mean. So it was on for like three days. We had three pumps hooked up to it. And as you can see from that, my oil got pretty dirty here. My vacuum pump oil looks dirtier in real life than it does on the camera here but anyway i'm just going to change out the vacuum pump oil which is a good maintenance thing that you should do because you got to have clean oil or you cannot you won't pull the right vacuum you could have trouble and all kinds of stuff so figured i'd just show you guys who may not know how to just change a vacuum pump oil very easy, easy procedure to do only takes a few minutes and it's good practice to um to do it all right guys so that's it for that one just real quick short and sweet you know, I know most of the guys know how to, you know, change a vacuum pump oil, but maybe some of the newer guys don't. So figured I'd just show what I've gotten questions on. It's always good to, uh, you know, maintain your vacuum pump and everything, especially after a big, huge vacuum like we just did on that big system. And, um, you know, it was on for three days straight. So with a couple other pumps. So I don't know either way, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's good to start getting some videos back up again, guys. And as always, I appreciate all the support. If you like what you're seeing here, consider subscribing. Hope everyone's safe. Stay well. Catch you boys in the next one.